GCSE Biology 213, this is 213C, and we're dealing with osmosis here in plant cells, so it's, this relates to plant cells and osmosis. The theory of osmosis suggests that water will move from dilute solution to the concentrated solution. So that's the direction of water. So this is our little rule that we can apply. And that it is, of course it's passing through the cell membrane. In plant cells, which all have cell walls of course, these do not present a barrier to the movement of water. So we have three conditions that we're going to consider. A hypotonic solution is where the surrounding fluid is dilute. So the fluid around the cell is considered to be dilute in comparison to the contents. So this is concentrated and this is considered dilute. That's a hypotonic solution. The word hypotonic, isotonic, hypertonic refer to the solutions around the cell. A hypertonic solution is one in which the fluid which surrounds the cell here is considered to be concentrated in comparison to the cytoplasm which is considered dilute. So here we have concentrated and dilute. And the third condition to consider is where the fluid on the outside in which the cell is sitting, that the concentration A and B, the concentration of these two fluids, the cytoplasm and the surrounding fluid, are equal. So let's just put a big equal sign in there like that. So what we now do is we use the rule to predict the movement of water and the consequences for the plant cell. The rule is water moves from the dilute to the concentrated solution. So we can see that in the hypertonic cell, water is going to enter the cell like this. The consequence of which is that there will be a volume increase in the cell. The cell membrane will push out words like this against the cell wall and this is a condition in which the cell is described as being turgid. In the hypertonic solution, our prediction is that the water will move from the dilute to the concentrated, so it's going to move this way, so the water will be moving out of the cell, through the cell membrane, out through the cell wall, and the consequence of this is that the volume of the cell will decrease. Now the cell wall remains intact and solid but with the reduced volume of the cytoplasm the cell membrane moves away from the cell wall like this. So here's the reduced volume this is leaving spaces between the cell wall and the cell membrane here and that actually would be occupied by the hypertonic concentrated fluid would move through and into these areas here. This condition in a plant cell is called plasmolysis and pronounced 
plasmolysis. The third condition is the one in which the two concentrations are equal. But we don't say that nothing happens. In fact, what we say is that the amount of water going out is equal to the amount of water going in. So there's no net gain. So it remains constant. So the volume is constant here.